Rachel. Welcome back to day three of our seven day ab challenge. As you can see, I am holding weights today. If you have light weights, go ahead and grab them. I have three pounds, but you can also use one pound or two pound or more if you're feeling kind of frisky. But we're not gonna need those for the warm up. So go ahead and set those off to the side and we will get started with our warm up. So step those feet out wide, turn your toes out, reach the arms up and overhead, and then fall over to one side. And reaching the arms back up and overhead. So I have some good news for you guys today. Since yesterday you all were absolute rock stars doing so, so many planks, we're gonna do all standing abs today. Go the opposite direction. That is right, all standing abs. We're gonna give those wrists, the hands, a break. I was gonna say shoulders, but we're really not gonna give the shoulders a break today, but that's okay. Abs, abs, abs. One more time, and then let's reach the arms up. Fingertips are active, and let's isolate that torso. Really stretching through the side body. Stretch up, stretch up. I do enjoy today's exercises a lot. If you've taken any of my classes before, you will see a few of these. You're like, oh, I think I've done that before. Here's five, four, three, and two, and one. Beautiful, bring the arms down, step those feet together, head to the back of your mat. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, take your forward fold. Walk the hands out to a high plank. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Send it back down, dog. Checking in with the body. How are you feeling today? And let's walk those hands back to meet your feet. Bend the knees, roll up to standing one more time. Arms reach up, forward fold. You're getting used to this warm up though, aren't you? Day three, you're like, I've seen this before, I get it. Three, two, one, send it back, down dog. And come back into your plank, drop the knees, shoulders stacked on top of the wrist, hips stacked on top of the knees, cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round the spine, angry cat. Again, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round the spine, angry cat. And one more. And exhale, come back to a neutral spine. Send the hips back to the heels. Let's go ahead and get started. Get up onto your feet, get those feet about hip distance apart, toes are facing forward, hands can come onto your hips and we're gonna bring our knees up. So we are marching in place. So every exercise we're doing today is one minute long. So I have lots of time to talk to you about form, how to really engage the core muscles. So we're gonna start here, okay? When I'm bringing my knees up, I can just kind of mindlessly bring them up. My belly is not engaged right now. What I want to see though, your hands are on your hips so you can actually hold yourself accountable as you are lifting up your knees to squeeze your abs. It's kind of like you're doing a crunch on the floor, right? except here we have our shoulders stacked on top of our hips and we're bringing our knee up, okay? And these last 15 seconds, if you would like, you can even go into your high knees, okay? Not necessary if you don't wanna do it. Just being really mindful of pulling the belly button in towards your spine. We got five more seconds here. Three, two, one, knees come down. Let's grab onto those weights. If at any point during class today you want to drop your weights, go for it. We're going to turn those toes out really wide. Step your feet out. Low squat. Bring your weights behind your head. Oblique crunch. So we're going side to side here. Dropping that elbow closer to the top of your thigh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you feel this already, man? If you're like, okay, I kind of feel it. I kind of feel it, but I want to get a little bit more. Get lower in your squat. Keep going. For you crazy people that would like a little bit more. <laughs> Whew. All right, our next move, we're actually going to stay here 
in our low squat. If you need to stand up and shake it out, go for it. Always come right back into it. We got 15 more seconds here. All right, I'm gonna start to tell you what we're doing next. We're gonna do a twist. So an opposite arm comes forward to that opposite thigh, okay? We got five more seconds here. Three, two, one, twist it out. I want you to take notice though. Look down at your thighs. Are they starting to cave in? I want you to open them up. You're squeezing your bum behind you. It's really easy to let those knees, those thighs start to fall inward when you're getting tired. <sighs> Gotta keep that form in check here. Also, we're not leaning forward with the chest. We're keeping that chest lifted as we twist. <sighs> twist, twist. Ah, <sighs> yes, yes, yes. We got 20 more seconds here. All right, and then we're gonna get out of this holding squat position. Woo! In 10 more seconds, come on, give it to me here. Three, two, one, beautiful. Stand on up, heel toe those feet together. You're gonna bring both of your weights into one hand and we're gonna bring them up towards the ceiling. All right, so I'm so sorry. Your toes are gonna step out slightly. So they're just a little bit wider than hip distance, but your toes are facing forward. We're gonna do around the world, and then we're gonna squat it down. Same direction. So we're going around the world and squat. Around the world and squat. If you find that you need to maybe turn your toes out slightly, I will allow it. I don't want a really wide squat here, okay, because we just did that. So let's bring our toes in. Oh, my lanta. All right, we're halfway there on this side. You might be thinking, how is this a core workout? What I don't want to see, I'll show you how not to do it first. I don't want to see that you're really just like letting your body go when you're taking this circle. I want you to squeeze those abs you are moving your arms around a stationary torso. Stationary, it's gonna move a little bit, but not a lot. Five more seconds here, let's see if we can get one more time. Beautiful, other direction. All right, here we go. One more minute here, doing these around the world. These are slow, these are intentional. I know, we're starting to get tired. If you have two weights in your hand and you're like, this is not feeling good, not feeling good, you can drop one of them. You can drop both of them. I don't care. I just want your form to be on point. All right, we're over halfway there. Nice. There is a little bit of power when you squat down. A little bit of power. Ooh but then you become slow and intentional as you're moving those arms around your head. We got seven seconds, <laughs> five, four, three, get one more, two, one. Whew. Okay, options here. One weight, two weights, no weights. Bring them over to one side of the body, up and over your head. Point the opposite toes out. Bring your weights down to your hip and then your knee comes up. What's tricky here is we're not twisting, right? That knee is coming up and it's facing forward, okay? What's twisting is the upper body, okay? So join me when you are ready. This, I know the arms are gonna start to feel this. I did tell you that we're gonna get some shoulder work in today too. Standing abs though. We are not even hitting the floor. This is our last exercise today. Yes, it is. Last exercise of today, but we gotta do the other side, okay? Halfway there on this side. So one minute and 30 seconds left of work here today. If you would like to make this more challenging, do not touch your toes to the floor. Allow them to hover. 
Okay, really reach those arms out to the side. So you're making a little diagonal or an X. I call these X outs. That is my coined phrase for them. All right, last time, switch side, switch sides, and then get into it. Test it out for size, see how it feels. I know, I know that you're getting kind of tired. But guess what, we got 45 seconds, then we're done for today, that's it. Squeeze, really get those weights down to your waist. All right, if you would like, halfway done, don't tap the toes to the floor, keep them lifted the entire time, and really stretch those arms out, and then in. Out, and then in. Whew. One of your sides will feel a little bit easier than the other. This is not my easy side for sure. 10 more seconds, that's it. Pump it out here with me. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, you guys. Go ahead and place those weights on the floor. Boom, day three in the books, you guys. Awesome job, I will see you tomorrow.